welcome back to another session in this session I'm going to explain you about output service the output service is mainly for using for generating the PDFs in through work page I will show you how to generate the PDFs with the data okay so now I'm going to open the work page so my XTP of employees form.xtp that is my XTP so first what I have to do first I want to read the XTP right so I'm going to read the XTP from by using the read document component read document okay by using read document I can read the document okay that could be any any document uh, image document or anything word document whatever by using this component you can read in the work page so this uh, comes under foundation category file util services okay so in the read document so you see there are two one para one input parameter one is output parameter one input parameter is nothing but file name file name here you can give the path complete path you can you have to give okay so I'm giving the complete path with the file name implies form dot xtp right I'm copying XTP. in the in the out pdf output in the output also it will be a document only so by using this file name it will read the document and it will store into the output variable so okay i am creating the document output document emp p doc okay <coughs> i am in the output it's not required okay I'll give click on okay Now I am routing to from executive to this mail. This also not required. Okay. Now we have XTP in our process. Okay. Now we want to generate the PDF now by using this XTP right so for this we have output see output service we have right so we have so many output services generate PDF generate printed output send to printer transform PDF right so we can choose anything based on your requirement so I am selecting first one generate PDF output so it will generate the PDF by using the given XTP and data file whatever data we given right XML that data see check the properties input data and form and output is PDF format output is again document so input means what you have to give here our XTP form nothing but xtp right what is the xtp variable emp doc correct so read document what is the output emp doc read that would be the input for this pdf generation so here i am giving emp doc and xml we have data xml right out xml we have out xml right so that out xml as input for this out xml input data so output pdf means i'm generating one more so i'm giving the final pdf or whatever mm, out pdf something you can give uh, not created anything like okay. employ pdf emp pdf okay that i am giving the as output 
click OK. See, we created output as employee PDF. See, output. I created two outputs, right? One is for employee PDF, another is employee doc. Employee doc is not required. Now I am have to give the root from read document to PDF. Now I want to store this generated PDF into the any location. Right? So for that we have seen read write similar we have write write document. By using the write document we can store the PDF into the given path. See pattern document there right so pattern nothing but uh, we have to give the location document name we have to give the document name store pdf in the pattern variable nothing but uh, employee pdf right employee pdf given these things optional so if you want to make unique then you can choose if you want to override existing file suppose if we can give the that option as well so I'm giving the path slash ok so it will create the generated PDF here only employee details not PDF so PDF will be created with this given name employees employee details dot PDF now I am join this route that's it so next is save check in deploy execute okay see the path employee demo I am cross checking the path one second the file is not there right employee details dot take a pdf is not there and I am we have the employees form dot xtp right in the given location I am just cross verifying all the deta uh, details ok looks good mm -hmm. just changing the menu store employee details pdf ok Then next step will be as I told you same okay and checking the process deploying the process this type of error will come uh, generally then uh, it means it's not deployed properly so again you have to check in and redeploy so I'm check out again deploying the same now it will error not come Now I am going to invoke in the process. Yes, so process executed and the uh, PDF also generated. See, employee details PDF is generated. I'm just double click on it. This is the form, right? Employee ID, employee name, city, date. So these things I will explain later why it's not showing as a date field. Date field is not showing right properly. It's a read only, right? 
that I will show I will tell you what is the reason so like this by using this output PDF output service we can generate the PDFs okay now if you open there itself it will open the same okay hope you can understand this output service concept and how to generate the PDFs okay thank you thanks for watching this video